After best-selling writer Joe Piazza had two kids of her own, she really started to notice all those mom influencers out there. Most mothers know it. The influencers appear in your feed, like on Instagram, beautiful kitchens, making fresh meals with their kids, on vacation with the whole family, smiling. Look how happy. It's all perfect. Yeah. She also noticed these moms were pitching her products, products that she found herself wanting and buying. So she decided to make a podcast about it. Under the Influence takes a look at the behind-the-scenes world of what she calls mom internet good morning joe good morning thanks for having me now, i remember when reality tv started it was kind of real and then it got fake and the internet seems to be the same thing it started off kind of real and authentic and now it seems kind of fake are these mom influencers is this all fake you know i love that analogy to reality television because i covered it for a long time i was an entertainment journalist and yeah it is very similar in the beginning there there was it was a lot of reality and now so much of it is just highly produced so a lot of the mom influencers and influencers in general will hire a photographer to shoot their whole month of content and then post that on their instagram and their TikTok. no one is really doing any of this in real time uh -huh. they're creating a magazine and really a media company right and so i mean i guess for moms out there who might have a, you know, have a certain, they've, they've developed a, a, a niche audience, you can really, they're making money doing this and have small businesses basically, right? Oh my God, they are making such good money. I mean, there are some that are just getting free products, but I've also talked to a lot of mom influencers who make serious six-figure salaries. I talked to one who quit her job. Her husband now manages her Instagram brand. And, and there's a few that are even making more than a million dollars now. This is big, big money for a lot of people. So what separates the people who make real money versus those who don't in, in terms of whether it's their personality or whether it's the, the substance content of what they're posting? It's the hustle. Honestly, it is a numbers game. Um, and frankly, what makes a lot of money are people who turn their lives into a magazine, who are posting constantly. I mean, we're, we're talking about posting almost every hour in right? video. Right? Yes, this is not some sit back, take a picture, boom, ka-ching kind of thing. They are literally hustling 24-7 to make big money. Now, look, some of these pictures, we saw that one of the couple in the bike with the sun beaming through the clouds. I mean, it's so just... So happy! Right? I mean, and it's just the whole... I, I, I don't get it. So are they using their their families and it's become a family business and they're not living their lives and they're just making money getting sponsorships? Yeah, some of them are. I've talked to a lot of people who do feel like this is mentally exhausting because their entire lives have to be staged and their families are playing a part on their social media accounts. And I, for the first season of Under the Influence, I actually attempted to become a mom oh, influencer. Oh my God, terrible. I'm the worst mom influencer of all time. Why? My family, my family hated it. <laughs> we tried to do a photo shoot in like matching pajamas, which is a thing yeah. on Instagram. Oh. And within an hour, they were like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> we, everyone, including my husband, was in tears. Yeah. Is there something smarmy about using your kids for commerce on the internet? The short answer, yes, of course there is. Uh, I mean, I think there's something smarmy about using your kids for anything, for anything commercial. And, you know, if I discovered anything, it's that there are also a lot of dangers of putting your kids on social media. We talk about that a lot in Under the Influence, the podcast, to the extent that I've taken my face, my kids' faces mostly off Instagram after doing all this reporting. So in this podcast, have you found an influencer who was making some money and then they decided it was not worth it and stopped? Oh my gosh, there's so many. There, there's actually an exodus right now of some women from Instagram because it has gotten very exhausting, very soul crushing. Um, there's a woman named Lindsay Coughlin who had a very, very successful Instagram account and she completely got off Instagram and is now growing her blog and her podcast. It's it's Lindsay with a Y and a Z and co. And she's really building her media empire off of the socials because the socials, the algorithm, the hustle, it got to be too much. 
Mm. And it's just this constant comparing yourself to other people yeah. is just, oh, it's its a lot. Constant, oh. yes. Well, it's fascinating. The podcast is called Under the Influence. You can find Joe Piazza on our website and on the socials. And, oh, my God, you better socials. have a cute photo with your kids today. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, guys.